origin of these pigeons? Uh, it goes back to the old Menk Holton we yep. spoke of, yeah. And recently, uh, De Rose Sablon. De Rose Sablon. Yeah. Uh, is a local Lab guy, is he? Or? Uh, it were two brothers-in-law who yeah, played together more, yeah. uh, with not many pigeons on the long-distance flights, but they stopped two years ago. And I, uh, they were very good with my pigeons, and I was very good with their pigeons. Yeah. And then a few pigeons from the local fanciers yeah. here. You've also exchanged pigeons with uh, Engels. Engels. Yeah. yeah. They so approach you for an exchange, yeah. 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 Engels came to you. Yeah. That's interesting. And you're not a pedigree man as such, are you? No. Would you describe you wouldn't describe your pigeons? Would you describe your pigeons as inbred or crossbred, or how would you describe your pigeons, your family? You know, do you have a breeding system? Or? Uh, no, no, no. So it's in cross and out cross. Out cross. Yeah. This, I, I, I don't see things. There's one aim here, isn't there? Yeah. Winning. Winning. Yeah. That's the only aim yeah. you have, isn't yeah. it? To win. So I, there. I may have a very good pigeon out of a couple. Next year, I think they won't be together. I'm gonna change that. You change it. Yeah. I want to see which one gives the good ones. And sometimes it's the cock, sometimes it's the hen, and sometimes it's the couple together. Yeah. I have good ones out of the hen and out of the couple when they are out each other. But when I and I put them together again. It's yeah. Um, and when all these breeders are coupled up end of November. Yeah. Yeah. Two rounds for the racing loft, yeah, for yep. the young pigeons, yeah. Yep. And uh, during that time, it's just food, grit, clean water. Yep. Any vitamins? Give them any vitamins? No. No vitamins? Here, no vitamins. No vitamins. No trichomonas, nothing. Nothing. Okay. Do you have a special couple or are all your pigeons equal? You know, you don't say whereby, oh, these are a super couple, they've, you know. Uh, all pigeons are equal here, otherwise they wouldn't be here. Yeah, yeah. yeah? yeah. I think. Yeah. There are pigeons that I like more than the others. Yeah, of course. That's something yeah. Yeah. else. But as a breeding couple, I don't know. Yeah. This is Liberty from 2002. It was the best young bird on the national races. It had only 1% on his three races, national then. Um, when the last races he did was La Souterraine, it's 550 kilometers for us. Uh, because of bad weather, the youngsters were eight days in the baskets and he makes the 17th prize national against 17,000 pigeons. He's first nominated. And I have already very good youngsters out of him. This is a hen, it's, she's called Yuxel, she's from 2000 and she won the first national Bourges against the hens, 4,500 pigeons. Uh, against the cocks she won the third or fourth against 16,000 pigeons. Uh, she's a very good breeding hen, she is the grandmother of Liberty. Showed. Another son makes the third national on Vichy.
is Pablo, he's from 98, from the first provincial on Belgium against 15,000 pigeons. In the national race he was fourth against 50,000 pigeons. The first two years I breed out of him, it was nothing. But the last years I have very good breeders out of him. And I found it out because I put some children in the breeding loft of him. And they have given me very, very good youngsters and also hands. So I sh should say it's better in the second and third generation and in the first genera generation. She's Sfortanina, she's from 2001, she was a top racer, but uh, for the first time I breed out of her, she gave me already a provincial winner. And now with several cocks, she has given me very, very good birds. We keep saying you're not a theory man, Freddy. Uh, everything here has its purpose and by looking at this pigeon's wing we all know the purpose of this or most of us do for those that don't just tell us why that you nick this flight after this flight uh, it stopped for a week two weeks the mounting of the the next pen yeah the next pen yeah a lot of people do it with young pigeons, but you've done it with your hens because yep. they're playing so late in the yep. season, yeah. Your other theory is the throat. You have a throat theory, but again, it's all backed up by results. Yeah. Yep. Just explain your throat theory to us, Freddie. I think the throat must be very quiet and very deep. Yeah. And the color, not too white, but also not too red. Not too red, no. So I think this one have a, well, a good one. A healthy throat, yeah. yeah. And what should we be looking for then? So it's not too red, yep. not too white, and the hole, the round hole at the back of the throat must be quiet. Must be quiet. Not yep. moving in and out like so. Yeah. And not be around, but more like so, yeah. yeah. But you don't want to be, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, I like it when the the hole above is open, but when the hole above, yeah. yeah. But that's not really that's not yeah. important, yeah. yeah. Ooh. Well, Freddie, we've had a great day with you. Hopefully, the fancy. We've we'll picked up a few tips, we've seen in your secret it. cupboard, we've seen the reasons for the practicalities that you have behind your pigeon sport. Thanks Freddy, it's been a great day. Okay. And you want me to take that pigeon from the back? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's unbelievable, eh? <laughs>